What's up guys and girls, Uber Mike SoCal here with a quick video on something that happened yesterday while I was driving for Uber. Kind of an interesting story, let me know what you think of it at the end of this video, leave a comment. Let me know if this has ever happened to you and what you did about it. So I was driving for Uber yesterday, I pick up a Chinese guy who wanted to go roughly about 8 miles down the street. Spoke English well enough, I guess. Um, he had understood pretty much what I was telling him in broken English, but we made do. We figured it out. Ride started out usual. I was heading down there, and my GPS said a certain direction. Well, when it said that direction, he was buried in his phone the whole time doing this number with the phone, basically, you know, just staring at it as some passengers are wont to do. But I noticed what he was doing was he doubted the directions on the GPS even though they were entirely accurate and as it turns out the second he got in the car he had turned on the GPS to basically check the directions and making sure I was not taking him in a direction he didn't want to go. This isn't the first time this has happened to me. It has happened on a few times. I think it's just certain cultures or types of people that do this. Um, maybe they're just assholes. I don't know. It offended me because I take my job seriously. I never take long roads or ways out of the way to a person's destination. I pretty much follow the GPS unless instructed otherwise. This gentleman did not notify me that hey this might be the wrong way or anything like that he just wanted to check the direction to make sure I wasn't ripping him off and I take it personal I don't like it you're doubting my ability to do the job and I really don't like people who do that honestly um, I had no problem with the guy otherwise the ride went fine as usual I didn't confront him on it I noticed it and at the end of the ride after he was about to actually let me rephrase that when he was about to step out of the car he had the following to say why didn't you stop at my house I put the directions in there and I looked at him and I went what do you mean there was no address for your house it only had a street on there it's like no I put it in no you didn't there was no house number on it I'm not a mind reader I don't know where you live exactly the street has many houses on it. In fact, that one had about 30. <laughs> so, I don't know what his problem was. Maybe he was just an asshole. Um, I downrated him. Anyone that is going to check my GPS as in look at their phone on a GPS and then doubt my capability as an Uber driver, you're getting downrated, bro. That's just the way it is. And for you to call me out on why didn't I stop at your house, you didn't put it in there, you dipshit. <laughs> I mean, what is wrong with some people? Seriously, dude. I don't know. I don't get it. So anyway, that dude got downrated. He got a three-star rating. For one, he made me wait when I picked him up for over five minutes. I was about to leave, actually. I should have. Um, he downrated me, too. Even though, you know, if you don't appreciate a comment of why am I not stopping at your location well it's because you didn't do it right you know it's not rocket science people if you put it in an address you can do that but don't ever question the driver where they're going unless you know it's totally fraudulent of the way they're taking you leave a comment guys has this ever happened to you as a driver and if you're watching this as a passenger sorry if it offends you but seriously these are things that are going to get you downrated from drivers. No one likes to be doubted, especially when they're going out of their way to do a good job for you. We're putting our safety on the line every time we pick you up. By not only you, but by everything involved. Traffic, accidents, you name it. So, I don't know guys. Leave me a, a message. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and like the video if you've had similar circumstances as a driver. Hit subscribe to my videos if you'd like raw, unadulterated, and unfiltered 
Uber commentary, straight from the source, Uber Mike SoCal. Thanks, guys. See you next time.